Hello people, Jacoba's Witness here and welcome to Jacoba Reacts. But um, this Jacoba Reacts is a different one and what I mean is that this is all in good fun so please don't go at this guy and send mean shit to him or whatever. But anyways, I hope you enjoy. Well if you don't know who Blimpy is, Blimpy, or known by his real name Stephen J. Grossman, is a children's YouTuber who uploads mainly children's content, obviously, and has a total of 14.8 million subscribers on both of his channels combined. But overall, before being a children's content creator on YouTube and deciding, we've got to have money. He used to be a former gross-out comedian known as the stage name Sleazy Goodman who uploaded skits about being a boy born as poop. I shit you not, this is a children's entertainer. And yeah, it is as awfully unfunny as it sounds where he pretty much created characters like Turd Boy and Underwear Man. <laughs> I can't read this fucking script seriously. But his most infamous video was a 2013 video where the backing track for the then viral song at the time Harlem Shake was playing in the background. In the video, pretty much, Grossman proceeds to defecate on a naked friend's asshole. I, I can't show the video, obviously, for reasons, you know, because this channel will get uh, taken down. It is as disgusting as it sounds, and funny thing about this is that it's now lost media as John's and his PA group will use DMCA takedown notices for the re-uploads of said video I talked about. Note he has since said sorry for said video. At the time, I thought this sort of thing was funny, but real it was stupid and tasteless, and I regret having ever done it, John said in his statement to BuzzFeed News. I've grown up a lot since then, and I trust people will see me as the person I am now, not the idiot I was back then, dot. <laughs> I know I'll have people say at me in the comments, why are you having a go at this guy? Like, he seems happy with what he's making. Look, I'm not saying you can't make children's content, but if you're gonna do it, at least have an actual care for children and how you treat them. Because even though they're young, they still know when someone cares and doesn't, or bullshits that they care. But from videos I've seen of children meeting him, he has a mix of, in one case, he'll actually act nice to them and is very patient with them. And in the other case, he'll ignore them and not pay any attention to them at all, like he's either busy, which is like, okay, that's understandable when you're filming a video. Or he doesn't simply care about children and does it for money. Please check out Post Posteress's video link to it is down below. But obviously when you become big, other people see it and decide. And yes, we're going to get into the Blimpy ripoffs. But obviously one thing is when you become a big YouTuber or entertainer, other people see that and decide that they can do it themselves. So then you'll get someone like Zippy. Hi everyone, it's me, Zippy. I'm here today in a fun park and we're gonna make some music. I'm so excited. Look at all these different instruments we can play. Which I ain't gonna go into too much detail because I think personally he probably has some sort of disability. Maybe, I don't know. It just seems like it from the content. Or maybe he's just a weird guy. I, I don't know. Or maybe he just saw a money-grabbing opportunity. Hey guys, you want to know an interesting fact? Blimpy doesn't make his own music. Yeah, honestly, like, I can see why Blimpy doesn't have much of a music career. When you feel sad, don't know what to do. That's what's called. Feeling blue. But instead, the music is made by this goofy looking guy w with a fucking very cheesy the music key tie. Who honestly, I am not gonna lie, doesn't have a bad singing voice like Uncle Finger, Uncle Finger, where are you? Honestly, no homo. It, it sounds better than me some days when my throat's tired. Like obviously, the music's all done by this guy. And Blimpy seems to like taking credit for the music that isn't his. Like, look at the title of these, like, fucking CDR discs. Um, you want to know something funny? I filmed the take of this. Unfortunately, um, there was no audio. But, um, this is my new setup from now on. I hope you enjoy it. You know how I used to film this way? I've decided I'm gonna film like this from now on, because it's easier for me to look right here and, like, click on the video I need to commentate over. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this new setup. Uh, if you want, tell me what you think of it. Um, sorry if the heater's on in the background. Uh... 
It's very fucking cold over here in Australia at the moment. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. So the first video we're gonna react to from um, Blimpy is a video called Blimpy Makes Fruit Popsicles, Learning Healthy Eating for Children, Blimpy. Uh, this video just came out today actually, so it gives me um, new content to react to. Uh, thank you, Blimpy. So let's watch the first video. What is it with these fucking kids channels, right? When they upload a video, they always gotta have like this orgasmic sort of fucking face in the thumbnail. Hey, <laughs> can anyone tell me that, please? Like, what is the deal with in in the thumbnails? Like, come on, come on, do do better, do better. Insert Star Wars meme with Blimpy right here. You were the chosen one. It was said that you would destroy YouTube. Not join them. Oh, hey. It's me, Blippi, and I was just dancing! <laughs> but it's really hot outside. I wish I could take a break. Say something about the intro. Hey guys, we're doing some dancing. Oh, I wish I could take a break. It's so hot. Oh, <laughs> I, I just love the overacting in the video. Like the overacting in the intro is like gold. It's better acting than classic Jillian. I'd, I'd really have to say that. It's better acting than classic Jillian. I'm actually amazed. I know I'm doing this thing where I keep pausing the video, but what is it with this? Like, Blimpy's dancing, and he mysteriously finds a mom and pop shop that sells popsicles. Like, what kind of plot is that? Like, oh, but you cover it's for children, mate. It's for bloody children. Yeah, I know it's for children. I was a child once, remember? <laughs> I was a child once too, all right? I fell for corporation tactics. Uh, it, it's, it's actually a coincidence how this generation loves Blimpy. It's kind of like me when I was a kid, how I used to collect, uh, Wiggles merch. <laughs> oh, fuck. God, I hate being a kid. This is cha-cha-cha. It's mango, pineapple, and chia seed. <laughs> I'm sorry, this woman's the type of woman that would probably be a gold digger. That, that speaks like this and has this really obnoxious voice that it has to add with her American act. Like this really, uh, the really obnoxious voice, you know? Like that really annoying fucking voice that you just want to kill yourself every time you hear it in a teenage rom-com. That sort of voice. Let's continue. I, I want to die already. I thought we could make Popeye. Popeye? Yeah! Alright. That's why I call it Popeye. Um... I don't know. Why? I use spinach. Okay. You know, the way they spoke about Popeye actually reminds me of a, a mate of mine from my um, school that I haven't seen in a couple of months. Um, he, he loves like the old Popeye cartoons and shit, so every time we used to talk about Popeye, he'd get really excited, he'd be like, Oh, fucking Popeye, mate! Oh, Popeye, mate, it's so lit! So lit, mate! No, I'm kidding. Um, if you're watching this, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to watch this part. I I'm, I'm really sorry. I, ho I hope you're doing well, regardless. Besides all the jokes and the shit stirring, I really hope you're doing well. Um, you're, you're in my thoughts. I know, I know people are gonna say, oh, why do you keep pausing the video? Just let the video play. You know what I love is her fucking eyes. How when she talks, she goes like, you know the Popeye's ice cream is so, so amazing? How, how the fuck, how do you do that? I want to know how to do that. How do you do that? Please, please tell me how you do that. I'd really be grateful. You know, you like Popeye's guys? That's what makes them so handy. I know the bra meme has become an over-abused meme on my channel, but I'm gonna say it again. Bruh. She is like the worst person that he's had on, on his channel. She is like more annoying than he is. So handy, so handy, so handy. He's, he's usually like fucking annoying, but she's like way more annoying than he is. Come on, Blimpy. You, you can do better. You were the chosen one! All right, I'm kidding. I know this is gonna be a controversial joke on um, Jacoba Reacts. This woman is the perfect example of when it's acceptable to um, be a misogynist to women. <laughs> oh fuck, I'm going to hell for that one. God, I'm terrible. Let's cut open the watermelon. Whoa. I'm gonna be very careful because I'm a grown-up. Guys, I'm gonna be very careful cutting the watermelon because I'm a grown-up. Yeah, I, I, I cut fruit when I was a kid, Blimpy. I was like ten or I was like nine or ten years old when I cut fruit. Yeah, I, I see what he means, because um, when I was ten I um cut my finger. Uh not noticeable anymore. Hold on. Right there, see? See bruh? Right there. Now I know what he means when he says I'm gonna be very careful because I'm a grown up. Thank you, Blimpy. You just brought back a traumatic childhood memory. I'm sorry, Blimpy. 
in this video, you're really obnoxious. This I, this I can kind of laugh at how bad it is, but at the same time, it just, it, it's like, um, have you ever seen those, like, documentaries on, on serial killers? How they do, like, the, in the mind of, like, let's say, in the mind of Charles Manson, like, they'll do something like that. They should do one called In the Mind of Blimpy. That would be a very good doco. I'd, I'd, I'd pay to watch that. I know what um Blimpy's new catchphrase should be. <laughs> That's sour. Every time he sees a child in public. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to say he's a pedophile. Like, I hate I hate when people say that about all children's entertainers. Ooh, this, this person's a pedophile because he does children's music. Like, yeah, that's bullshit. With this video, in all honesty, even though I'm being a smartass and even though I'm making fun and taking the piss out of Blimpy, I'm joking. From the sincere, um, sincere bottom of my heart, Blimpy, you seem like a great guy. Even though you did some really disgusting stuff in your past, you seem like a decent guy. Did I just pop into the shot, guys? On purpose? My two favorite colors! Yeah! Check them out! Blue and orange! Oh wow! I just made my own logo to my own YouTube channel! Wow! Such a coincidence, am I right? Next video we're gonna react to tonight is, um, Blimpy's, uh, Funny Fun Pizza song. Food, foods for kids. And this video has got 51 million views. So 51 million parents around the world were like, Oh, what can my kid, kids watch? Oh, they're sick of this Minion stuff. Okay, put that on. But um, in this video, Blimpy actually sings some um, pretty tight vocals, I'm not going to lie, and the animation is pretty lit. Whoa! <gasps> Yum! <sighs> Should I just do a Cinema Sins impression for the meme? Number one, in this video so far, Blimpy's already committed a form of littering. What an asshole. I don't watch Cinema Sins. I've never have. Because if I want to watch a shit movie, I'll watch it myself. And if you support Cinema Sins, Gary Kilt. No, right, I'm not gonna say that. No, that's too cruel. I don't wish you death. Get off the internet and get a life. This has been a social commentary with your host, Chicago's Witness. Let's make a pizza that. Sin number two. These children look like thumbs. <laughs> Blimpy, your vocals aren't good. Please don't try to sing ever again. I know, very fresh from me, considering I've never done a cover on my own YouTube channel. I don't play any instruments. That's why I don't do covers on this YouTube channel. Let's make a pizza with spaghetti. Did you hear how Blimpy pronounced spaghetti? He said, um, let's make a pizza with spaghetti. Like, come on, bro. Spaghetti is not hard to sing. It's one word. Oh, it's one fucking word, man! Alright, I'm kidding. Um, I'm not gonna react to the next segment, which, um, the next segment of this video is just pretty much Blimpy singing the same song. Um, I will mention that he, um, covers the logos. Um, you know, like, the two can cereal? He covers the logo with his own stickers. That's, that's all I've got to say about that part, so, um, we'll go to the next video. I'm gonna give this video a bit of a break, because it is one of Blimpy's early, earliest attempts at a YouTube video. From like 2014, 2015. Like, I'm sorry, but when um when the guy, I think his name's Nicky Notes or some shit, um, when he plays the keyboard, it sounds like a phone vibrating. Is the months of the year. The months are so fun to learn. In all honesty, this song's a banger. January. January. February. February. March and April. March and April. May and June. Love what this song is all he's done is like taking um you know where is Fumpkin where is Fumpkin here I am here I am that's all he did he took where's Fumpkin and then rewrote January February that's all he's done he's like taken where is Fumpkin and like rewrote it into this whole different song and it's actually um pretty hilarious to watch uh, not gonna lie I want to make fun of the outro and then that's it pretty much for this video and then we'll react to the last one. Parents, if you want a child-friendly YouTube channel that incorporates things that your child loves with learning, then just remember Blippi. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. <laughs> Parents, if you want to incorporate a child-friendly YouTuber that will teach your kids such educational things as bulldozers, garbage trucks, and Halloween, subscribe to me, guys! I'm amazing! Blippy, and type it into YouTube anytime you want to show them some fun, free educational videos. 
I really appreciate the support because I do this for money and it makes me happy knowing that there's thousands of money learning and having a fun time with my genitals. I just want to thank you and money. I'll see you again. Bye. I just love this outro. It's pretty much just Blimpy kind of striking his um, YouTube channel, and it's, it's 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 beautiful to watch. So the last video we're going to react to tonight is um, Blimpy at the Baseball Stadium. Sports and outdoor activities for kids. There's a common theme with the Blimpy channel, is that he always puts um, four kids, or um, recently I've seen him do brand new Blimpy in the title. And it's like, come on man, we, we know what you're doing, we know what you're doing. I get that you love kids, not, not in that way. I'm not making a pedophile joke, all right? I know that you love kids. Please stop doing these really cringy fucking titles. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, I'm at Chase Field. Yeah, this giant building. Hey guys, this giant building I get paid to promote, it's in the background, see it? It's a baseball stadium. I probably got paid about $10,000 for this. Wow! Oh wow guys, it's a has-been baseball player that no kid will know about. Oh wow! How many seasons did you play for? Only a couple? Oh, that's unfortunate. We should have played 55 seasons, man. Do you play baseball? I used to play baseball, now I win baseball. Do you just hear this baseball player talking? He just sounds like one of them guys that thinks he's in like Lauren Order. He's like, I used to play baseball. Now I win baseball. Like, this guy thinks he's a bowler, bro. This guy thinks he's an actual bowler, like, you know, like The Rock in that um show, Bowlers. He thinks he's like that. He's like, I used to play baseball. Now I win baseball. Thank Rippy, you. Looks like you're ready to play catch now. Ooh, catch. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. The mitt, the glove. Okay. Uh, let's take this off and let's put this on. No, okay. Blippi. The glove goes on your hand. Oh, the glove goes on my hand, oh yeah! <laughs> this guy that like Blimpy's working with in this video is clearly starting to get pissed off when like Blimpy's just like mucking around being like and he's like, gets into that pissed off tone. You know like a father when they're disappointed in their son? He gets into that tone where he's like, oh yeah! <laughs> Blimpy, the glove doesn't go on your, your head. It goes on your hand. I told you this. Do you see what I see? Come here, look, there's a bobcat over there. <laughs> Let's go meet it. Whoa, I am so excited, a real bobcat. Man, Blimpy thinks he's like Steve Vu and he's like, look over there, it's the bear cat, guys. Look at it, it's the, it's the mascot for the company. Hey, how are you? I want a hug. Whoa, this is Baxter, and Bax Baxter is the mascot for the Diamondbacks. Hey, but um, guys, no racial. Is that a black guy in the like Baxter costume? I bet you it's some old racist guy that like runs the company. He's like, boy, come over here. You wanna, you wanna dress up in that cat in that cat costume for me? Like he's one of them old guys that like objectifies the black man, and he goes, boy, like he calls him boy or whatever. Like, you know, like in the old black and white films from the 30s. And they'd be like, come here, my boy. Not like now where they're like, oh, come here, homie. You know, back then it was more like, come here, boy. They would say that just to make him feel small and like weak as fuck. And it's just like sad. They probably did get a black guy to be in the costume. If he's a paid employee though, um, I'm sorry you watched this video. Let's see what the players have to say. Whoa. Hey. Hi What's there. your name? My name's Kate Longworth. Ooh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So what do you do? I'm a reporter. You know, she's a part of the alt-right and KKK, which she works for Fox. Fox is run by the KKK, you know. Am I right? Am I right, guys? I'm, I'm only kidding. I don't believe that, all right? I, d I don't really give a shit. You know, you can be on any political side, and I think you're equally retarded. So, fuck off. Hey, what's your name? My name is Rusty. What do you do? I'm a cameraman. Rusty. What kind of name is that? Is that a liberal snowflake kind of name? Are you a liberal, Rusty? Are you a snowflake? Are you a cuck? A beta male? A soy boy? A simp? Nah, I'm only fucking with you, Rusty. You seem like a decent guy. You seem like the type of guy I would chill with in a pub. <laughs> Here's a little tip. Be really nice to him because he'll make you look good. Guys, if you're a basic bitch on camera and you suck your way to the top, it's easy being on camera if you suck dick and get your way to the top. Oh, hey! I'm just waiting for a churro dog. 
It's their specialty. Oh fuck. I thought Blimpy said um chili dog. It kind of reminds me of um that classic Jillian video that he uploaded where um he was singing what is it one of the Wiggles songs or whatever and he said How would you like to play this game with chili dogs and their friends? That really um destroyed my joke. <laughs> So that was the end of the last video. Um, overall, I don't hate Blimpy as a person. I actually kind of don't um, mind his videos. I think they're hilariously awful, and I'd recommend you watch one. Overall, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry if it was very long or short, depending on how much I edit. So like this weekend or maybe next weekend, um, when, depends on when it comes out. Um, I'm gonna probably do a Jakovacast live, drunken Jakovacast live, so um, if anyone wants to join, uh, let me know. Um, if you want to be a guest on it, uh, let me know, like give me a message, shoot me an email or a comment if you want to be on the next Jakovacast. You know, I'm gonna do it live, uh, unfortunately due to um, the restrictions here in Victoria, uh, I can't really see my mates again, so. Um, in all honesty though, unfortunately restrictions are back, so that means I can't film a live Jakovacast. My plans were to go up. To a mate's house who lives four hours from here five hours from where i live and i was gonna film an episode with him unfortunately um that that's been scrapped um instead i'll probably do a live stream one i'm gonna do episode two i'll probably do it as a live stream and i know i know i said in the first episode oh i don't like doing these live streams um this is just an exception anyways i hope you enjoy um please check out whatever that dude's name i'm sorry i forgot his name but check out the blimpy exposed video in the description um also yeah, I hope you enjoy my videos. I'm sorry I've been slacking off a bit. Uh, I filmed I filmed and edited the Blinky Bill review like four or five weeks ago as of this upload. I know I've been slacking bad, but um, there's a lot of reasons to why I've been slacking, which I will explain in the next podcast, maybe. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. Uh, goodbye. Cause you know that you're gay, you wanna suck cock.